everyone. Today we are looking at the first session of module 3 for standard 8. The chapter is chapter 17, Our Colourful World. In this uh, module we will be learning about light, reflection, refraction and other things involved with light. You start the opening of the session by asking, telling the children about a story that happened to you last night. Tell them that last night I, I entered my room and I couldn't see anything. I switched on the bulb but there was no power. Then I looked for a candle and I lit it. And then there was... Let the children share their answers and the answer you are looking for is light. Once you tell them light, tell them that we are going to learn about light, light for the next few sessions. Then ask them what are some of the sources of light that they have. Ask them what are the natural sources of light and then what are the artificial sources of light. So the natural source of light will be sun. The other sources of light that we know is fire, tube light, torch, lamp, etc. Once you introduce the topic to them, you go on to ask them what are the uses of light? What will happen if we have natural or other light? Obviously, they will share the answers of yes, we can see things, um, you can prepare food, etc. It's also important for plants, sunlight is needed for plants to do, uh, have photosynthesis which is the process of uh, producing their food which in turn is, uh, is gives us food so light is very important for the survival of man in uh, is important for the survival of man and earth after you go on to that tell them that we uh, uh, ask give them all the life lab activity material mirror and reflection let them write their name on the packet because you'll be using only one part of it for today then ask them to take from the packet one mirror let them look at it from different angles, straight, then they look at the side, they can look at different things. What are the different things that they can see with this small mirror in the angle that they are sitting at? Once they tell, ask them, how are they seeing this? If they don't know the answer, you tell them that the process, the reason why they are seeing this is reflection. Reflection is the throwing back of light on a, from a body or surface without absorbing it. Means that light is falling on this body and it is falling back on something else. The reason we can see something is because the light from uh, there is falling here and that light reaches us and we can see things. This is reflection. It can be any type of surface but light always gets reflected unless the, the material absorbs the light in, which we will not be looking at now but on most surfaces light gets reflected. So for the opening, when you explaining what is a reflection, Please show them the handout which has showed you the different parts of reflection as the incident ray, the reflected ray, the normal and the images that is formed uh, during reflection. Once you um, uh, tell them that, you go into the next part which is the main creation. For the main creation, you uh, start by telling them what are the two different types of reflection. Following from the what you told them in the opening, ask them if there is no light, can you see things? Let the children share their answer, then tell them that the reason we can see something is because of light and the fact that it reflects. Like I said earlier, light falls on this board and it reflects and hits my eye and that's why I see something. But instead, if it was a mirror, light falls on it. it when I see is, I see uh, the mirror here and I also see a reflection in this mirror of something which I can see from this angle. But if I keep moving accordingly, I will see different things because the minute I move, the reflection also move. Now, there are two types of reflection that we just showed now. The reflection where the light hits the wall and hits my eyes is called irregular reflection because I don't see the anything happening. But on the other hand, here the light fell on a mirror and it reflected and I can see an image in the mirror. But I cannot see any image on the board. When a light hits a mirror and it reflects and I can see an image, it's called a regular reflection or clear reflection. If you look in water, sometimes you can see your face which is also regular reflection. So regular reflection in a perfectly flat and polished surface, a parallel beam of light is reflected as a parallel beam. Such a reflection is regular reflection and images are formed in regular reflection. Even if you look at a plate, there is an image formed in 
if you look at a metal plate you can see a reflection if you look at this uh, at the window glass window sometimes of some things you can see reflection but the on the other hand some things you can't see reflection the in situ you can just see the thing and there it's called regular reflection regular or diffused reflection is when objects have rough or unpolished surface light uh, reflects in all directions light gets scattered and images are not formed most of the things we see are because light has reflected on it show them the two display sheets which show them how reflection looks like in a regular reflection and diffuse reflection how the light rays and the reflected rays will look like that once you finish that you go into the next part of the main creation which is the life lab activity given the materials and the handout that they need for the life lab activity the students need to do the activity till the or part of the observation that is just the activity they do not touch the assessment once they finish till that part you start explaining what are the different things that they just learned the ray of light that hits the mirror is called an incident ray the ray of light that leaves the mirror is called the reflected ray now the properties that uh, of reflection on a plane mirror you tell them that there are three four properties that they need to know reflection on a plane mirror is a regular reflection because the light is incident on a smooth polished and regular surface which is what we learned in the previous session the size of the image is the same as the size of the object and it is formed from the same distance between the mirror and the object in front of the mirror which means that if you put a small pencil in a uh, 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 small thing in front of the mirror the image will be the same size as that object while if you put a, a big thing you will not see the whole part you will see only how much can be seen in that mirror image form is laterally inverted and there is virtual image this thing we will learn more in the later part but just mention it then there are two laws of reflection that the children need to know through the activities that we have uh, through the live lab activity the first law is that the angle of incidence which is the angle at which the light fell on it and the angle of reflection are equal which this is something that they would have measured using the activity earlier so you explain it to them and uh, and tell them that these are equal the second law is that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal drawn at the point of incidence to the reflecting surface lie on the same plane for example if there is light falling on this board the reflected ray falls on this board like this the incident ray falls out like this for it like if this is your point of incidence the reflected ray falls like this the incident ray leap uh, the incident ray falls like this the reflected ray falls like this and the normal which is like this all are on this line if this is the plane for it and that's the same thing if you are hitting if the light is hitting here and reflecting here this becomes the plane once you explain the two reflections uh, laws of reflection you ask uh, ask them how how are multiple images formed sometimes you can see multiple images in a reflection in a mirror reflection from one mirror is directed to the other mirror and the number of images that are produced by the ang the angle of mirror will be determined by the angle between the two mirrors this content is also given in the um, handout for the life lab activity so they can use that and you can explain this part to them after you finish that use the display sheet to explain what are real image and a virtual images real image is the image that is formed when the light rays coming from an object actually meet after the reflection of a real image can be obtained on the screen a real image is always inverted and common uh, example of a real image is the image formed on a cinema reel while virtual image is an image formed when the outgoing rays from a point of object always diverge the display sheets will be more explanatory for you to understand and explain this to the children once this is done we go into the part of lateral inversion for this part we want the children to be split into two groups sorry groups of two each child will be given a piece of a4 sheet which they need to tear and make it into four pieces like this 
and on each they need to write an alphabet. I have given the alphabets that they need to write. For this, I have chosen A, L, M and B. Using one of the mirrors that they have already used for their life lab activity, one child needs to hold the mirror while the other child will hold the paper like this to see the image. They will observe that the letter B will be laterally inverted in the uh, mirror. Which means that B which was like this will look like this in a mirror. But M will look like this only because the lateral inversion of M is still M. L will look different when you look at a mirror. So lateral inversion is the effect produced by a plane mirror in reversing image from left to right. For example, I've been saying that I'm this this is my right, but for a inner mirror it will look like my left. While on this is my left and the mirror it will look like the uh, right. The left is seen as the right and the right is seen as the left in a mirror and this is called lateral inversion. Once you finish, ex finish explaining lateral inversion, you go into the closure activity. For this closure activity, the students need to observe different um, materials around them which can reflect light and, ex uh, and write down which are the ones which is regular reflection and which are the ones which is irregular reflection. Once they get the, um, uh, uh, the worksheet, they can fill in the examples of the things that they saw around in their household and bring it back in the next week. With this, we are done. See you in the next session.